Today I want to take a break before I start on the, on the topic of Tawheed, the oneness of Allah, to talk and listen about something which I believe is a major issue in our community. It has caused the breakup of families, the breakup of husband and wife, the breakup of brothers and sisters, the breakup of uh, families and relatives, the breakup of friends, the hatred amongst the Muslims, the splitting into many organizations and sects. They are the result of many sects in the religion. They are the result of people having a bad name, ruining reputations of people, right? Preventing people from getting married or engaged or cutting off an engagement or marriage. Wallahi. Causing a disunity amongst the Muslims, one of the major causes, brothers and sisters, and if you might guess it, it is something called Namima. Namima, translated literally as gossip. Namima means gossip. Gossip. Gossiping. Talk, 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 false truth. Gossip about people and, and spread rumors, out, rumors whether, they are, whether they are true or false, but you just spread them about people and about, about one another. Today, insha'Allah, I want to express the importance and the major prohibition of this in our religion. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created the male and the female, and the one who knows what the male and the female thinks and does. Allah, the one who fabricated this nafs ourselves, knows what it is capable of doing in good and knows what it's capable of doing evil. Allah knows what mankind is capable of doing and so he set boundaries and guidelines in the Quran and in the Sunnah. Whatever he commands us to do brothers and sisters, it is only because it is and has to be good for us whether we understand it or not. And whatever Allah prohibits us, it has to be harmful to us whether we understand it or not. I mean, a child, a baby, a child who's two, five years or two or three years old, goes to the drawer and picks out a knife. Does that child know what a knife does? No, until you guide that child and you tell them, don't touch the knife. The child probably at that stage maybe doesn't understand. You grab a one and a half year old child and, tell, and you hit him on the hand for not touching the knife. He doesn't understand why you hit him. He doesn't understand what is wrong with what he, what he or she has done. But later on, as you explain it, he finds that he can now trust the parent because the parent knows what's harmful to the child and what's beneficial. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his knowledge is endless and unlimited. How can we compare what we feel with what we understand or don't understand to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows? If Allah prohibits something, why do some Muslims wait until they can understand it or comprehend it before they can prohibit themselves from it? And if, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited uh, the, you know, the, the, the consumption of riba, of usury. Some people don't understand that concept. Why? Why? They say, if you can't give them a proper excuse, like a reasonable, logical excuse, you find that they're heedless with it. They just keep doing it. Ya akhi, a Muslim does not wait for a logical explanation. Our logical explanation is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and He knows that it's harmful to us. Isn't that enough? Yeah, isn't that enough for a Muslim? Submit it. Allah says in the Quran, أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِكَافٍ عَبْدَهُ Is Allah not sufficient for His servant? Of course it's enough. Well, if you don't, then there's a problem with your iman. You have to go and revise what's wrong with your belief in Allah. You have to revise yourself. So Allah has prohibited the gossiping, namina, spreading of rumors, whether they are rumors or whether they are true. Gossiping and backbiting and slandering uh, without any doubt. Without any doubt. Without any atom of doubt. It is one of the most grievous sins that a person can get used to and die with. Today, inshallah, we'll talk about the dangers. We will talk about the different styles of gossiping. How do they occur? Is it only by talking or is there other ways? We will talk about what are the motives that drive people to gossip? Why? Why do people gossip? I will, inshallah, try to attempt to tell what are the causes of people gossiping. What are the wrong excuses that people give when they gossip? What is our duty when we hear people gossiping? 
And lastly, what types of gossip are permitted in Islam? These are the things I'm going to talk about to you today, insha'Allah. So let us begin with the definition. If you don't know what something means, how are you supposed to know what to do and what not to do with it? First of all, brothers and sisters, there are three definitions you need to learn about gossiping. Three. How many? Salah. Number one. There is a word called backbiting. Ghiba. Ghiba. What is it? In Arabic. Ghiba. Or backbiting. Ghiba is to say the truth. Listen carefully to what we're saying here, brothers and sisters, it's important. It's to say the truth about a Muslim behind their back to someone. You say it to someone. And that Muslim whom you spoke about does not like you saying it to anyone. I'll repeat. Backbiting, ghiba, which is the lowest now. That's the lowest form of gossip. The lowest is to say the truth about someone who is not present, behind their back. You say it to someone else. Obviously that someone is a Muslim. And that person whom you gossiped about would not like you to say this about them. To clarify, here is a hadith of the Prophet He once sat with his companions and he said to them, أَتَدْرُونَ مَا الْغِيبَ? He said to his companions, do you know what ghiba is? That's how the Prophet ﷺ catches the attention. قَالُوا اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَعْلَمُ Allah and His Messenger know best. He said, أَن تَذْكُرَ أَخَاكَ بِظَهْرِ الْغَيْبِ بِمَا يَكْرَهُ أو كَمَا قَالُ To mention something about your brother or sister in Islam, behind their back, something which they hate. They hate you to say. One companion stood up. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, what if what we are saying is true? So he's a companion who misunderstood the Prophet He said, if it is true, then that is in fact ghiba. فَهَذِهِ ghiba. But if it's false, and that's a bigger sin. That's ta'an. It's slander. Slander, and that's a more grievous sin. So it brings us to the second definition of what is involved in gossip. And that is slander, ya akhwan. Slander. Slander is not just mere backbiting. It is more than that. It is backbiting a Muslim with something that is not true, or it's true but you exaggerate it. It's true but you exaggerate it. That's a lie. When you exaggerate something, it's a lie. That's worse than mere ghibah. No. No, وَإِنْ كَانَتْ فِيهِ فَقَدْ بَهِدْتَ أَوْ طَعَنْتَ The Prophet ﷺ said that بَهِدْتَ أَيْوَ نَعَمْ صَحِيحٌ The Hajj has completed our hadith and the Prophet ﷺ said and if what you are saying is true about him then you have also uh, gossiped about him, backbidden him, defamed him. So we're not allowed to defame each other. We have to honor each other. And lastly there is a word called the Namima and this is what we're talking about. Namima is a combination of the two. It's a combination of ghiba and ta'a, backbiting and slander. Or it's one of, one of them, but you exaggerate it and you spread it. You spread it. Every time to can hurry you meet, you know someone so he said this or he did that. You know these, that, that couple over there, the husband and wife, I heard about them that this and that. I heard that this husband smacks his wife like this. I heard that this wife says swear words to her husband. I heard this and I heard that. Right? So you spread rumors. This is called namima. What is the ruling? There is no doubt that the scholars are unanimously agreed that Namima and Ghiba are a major sin. Get the book called Al Kabair, Kitab Al Kabair, the book of major sins, and you will find Ghiba as being a major sin. Now, Ghiba is a major sin, ya akhwan. A person who continuously does it, you die with that, you've, you've died with a major sin. And a major sin is a punishable sin. 